Hey, hey, Virgo, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your August 2022 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Virgo and take a look at all things related to love. Whether you are currently single, perhaps you're partnered up, maybe you're focused on self-love or doing some major healing and reflecting. We'll take a look at it all. So just a friendly reminder, Virgo, these are general love readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Virgo, before we dive into your Celtic cross, we're just going to take a peek at the energy of the past, present, and future. And in the area of the past, we have body talk showing up here for you. Now, this is about self-love, focusing on loving yourself, maybe getting into a new exercise routine here. This can be about mental health, body image. Maybe getting even some chakra healing done. For a lot of you, it has to do with self-confidence, self-worth, and really building up that solar plexus chakra. So some of you are trying to feel better about yourself uh, physically, externally, but also from the inside out here. So body talk is something that may have been an important factor in your love life. Uh, is self-worth and confidence. Feeling good in your own skin here, Virgo. Now, in the present moment, August 2022, which is the strength showing up, and we will be in Leo season, which represents the strength energy, but this is about perseverance. It's about you being stronger than you think, overcoming any obstacles regarding self-worth or regarding loving yourself more, because this is about overcoming obstacles, power, and it also says fitness here. So the fact that you have exercise and fitness showing up, this is about a lot of you, maybe you're meeting somebody through, uh, through a new class, through a gym. Uh, there could be something here with you taking up a personal hobby or a goal where you attract energy of other like-minded individuals that may turn into something more if you are single. Now, for those of you that are in a relationship, you may be focusing on your own body image. You may have felt like you've been in a relationship you may have felt like you let yourself go or this is about you overcoming obstacles uh, within your own self so you can strengthen all of the bonds within you here there is a situation in the present moment here that says that you are way stronger than you think so pat yourself on the back here and give yourself some credit virgo for all that you've been through now, in matters of the heart, in the future, we have spiritual toolbox. For some of you, you may be watching more tarot readings on YouTube. You may be even pulling your own cards. Some of you may be doing some, uh, some law of attraction, manifestation, some love magic, some spells. But this talks about tarot and oracle cards, saging, pendulums, meditation. It's about creating a sacred space. Some of you may be creating a vision board as well or coming up with a list, whether that is a mental or a physical list of attributes that you would like to see growing in a relationship that's either present or one that you are trying to attract. So let's take a look and dive into your Celtic cross. So let's dive into the heart of the matter for you, Virgo, August 2022. What is the heart of the matter here for Virgo? triumph and success beautiful so this is the energy of the ace of swords showing up right away here for you this is truth uh transcends illusion this is about clarity it's about breakthrough aha moments that uh come in regarding areas of the heart some of you are saying you know i love myself all of myself uh this doesn't necessarily have to be about you know it's about you feeling good on that body, mind, soul level, the body talk. This is about mental health, what it is that you tell yourself, what it is you think about, you bring about. So even if, uh, let's say you're not in the best shape that you would like to be in, you're loving yourself regardless, but you're filling yourself up and you're filling the cup, your cup with things that are soulful to you here. And that's what I feel is happening. Um, I feel like you are attending to your hobbies, your goals, and in matters of the heart, you're doing what is best for you and you're not letting any uh, energy that's deceitful 
or any miscommunication hold you back here. You're finding solutions to any obstacles or challenges. There's truth and logic coming in that is setting something straight and it's giving you that power. So you're stronger than you think here. And there's clarity, which is very, very important for you in the month of August, Virgo. Also, towards the end of the month, which could be someone's birthday out there, whether it's the 24th, the 27th, the 29th, uh, there is strong Virgo energy coming in where it's almost like you're having uh, new goals. You're setting new goals. It's a new year for you, uh, birth-wise. And uh, the moon says that you will find the clarity that you seek. So this is really powerful. Pay attention to those emotions that come up, whether they're emotions regarding uh, that solar plexus. So the solar plexus is your belly area. It's that big, bright yellow chakra that sits right here in your, in your stomach area. And that's about your confidence. Some of you may have stomach issues at times, or maybe you've uh, created a little bit of a, a space through maybe food uh, in that stomach area here. But this is about you paying attention to your dreams, your beliefs, and your self-talk. Because the way that you talk to yourself uh, is the way that other people is the way that you are, that's what you're putting out into the world, okay? And I feel like this is about you building the confidence. So you have a new cycle. There's something brand new showing up for you with the moon card. It's all about your intuition as well, trusting your gut instincts and your, your gut feelings. Let's see what's crossing your energy here, Virgo. What's crossing your energy? I feel like anything that's been hidden from you will be illuminated. And in the month of August, you're finding that clarity and you will, uh, you will persevere. What's crossing you is this brand new beginning. Okay, whether you are a little bit nervous, you're scared to dive into this new path. Some of you, I just heard the big O. So you could be turning 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever age, it doesn't matter. There's a new beginning coming in here for you. Now, this is all about a fresh start, spontaneity. It's about embracing the unknown. And you have that moon card showing up here for you. So embracing the unknown, it can be a challenge at times to step out of our comfort zone, especially if you've been in a relationship for a long time or if you've been single for quite some time. It can be different to start a new beginning, whether it's uh, bringing in, maybe some of you are bringing in the energy of going solo, doing something on your own, buying a new house for yourself. This could be uh, go, getting out there and dating after some time of maybe f enjoying your independence or feeling like uh, there wasn't anyone out there aligned with your energy. Get ready because something's about to shift your world here and I feel like it's going to be for the better. Yeah, there it is. Literally shift your world. You're gaining a brand new perspective with this hanged man. This is all about if you felt stuck in a relationship or stuck in your life, maybe not attracting the love that you want, you're releasing and surrendering to some sort of new change. And that's what that beginning energy is all about for you, Virgo. So let's see what the foundation is here. What is the root of the matter for Virgo? What do we have here? Patience. It doesn't surprise me. Temperance energy showing up here. So the patience card is all about compromise, moderation. It can be about self-control as well. Sometimes our behaviors can be quite extreme. Sometimes we can feel very impatient and erratic in our emotions at times where emotions completely go from A to Z and we're wondering how the heck can we balance them up here. So I feel like you've been patient tried to be as patient as you could possibly be. Uh, patience isn't always a word that comes out easy. It's not an energy that's easy to do, but I feel like you finally got to the point here where there's a breakthrough with this Ace of Swords. You're ready to move towards the new beginning, but it's almost like you've wished and wished and wished for it. And now that it's coming, you may be taking a step back. Is this really what I want? I feel like it is really what you want here uh, because the change can seem unfamiliar to you. Let's clarify. What is this new beginning and hanged man energy all about for Virgo? There's celebration here. Three of cups. There is uh, there is abundance. There is could, could be the news of maybe a new relationship. This could be a news of a baby. It could even be a news of a new wedding or some sort of a reception here. Uh, some of you may be asking to become a bridesmaid as well, uh, especially if you are 
uh, you've always been a bridesmaid or you've always been invited to the weddings and at times it seems when is my time going to come here uh, but I feel like there's going to be celebration and you're raising your cup here you can see the girls raising their cups to celebrate something very enjoying and joyful and you can see the moon in the background illuminated so something is going to be illuminated and you're going to realize that you're overcoming the obstacles that have held you back there's a new beginning coming in for you I love this Let's take a look and see what this new beginning is all about. What do we have here for, oh, we have the heart chakra. So this is the past energy here, and we're going to get one more. There's something with the heart chakra. I feel like it's opening up. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> As I said, opening up, we get the ace of wands. So heart chakra is opening here. The universe is offering this brand new beginning for you to open up to passion. This says passion ignited. Ace of Wands is all about feeling that desire, that optimism, feeling like you finally have a new sense of energy to go in one direction here. Even if you're single, this is about you opening up, putting yourself out there, allowing your heart to love. If you haven't met somebody yet, I feel like that could possibly come in for you. Let's clarify this uh, past energy. There is a healing being taken place here in the past with this body talk card. What is this healing? Chakra healing. Some of you could have had a deep uh, heart chakra cleanse. You could have did a guided meditation regarding chakras as well. But I'm just set, sensing that there was a reset here regarding the heart and it allowed you to open up because there it is, Ace of Swords, clarified by this Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords is your main energy here. So you're still enjoying the energy of this loving yourself. And whether you are magnetized at this time, you're realizing that you're so much stronger and you're worth so much. And this Ace of Swords brings breakthroughs and clarity moments here for you. But also it opens up your heart to allow yourself to go forward in this new energy. Whatever that looks like to you, whether it's a new person, whether it's energy in an old relationship, or it's focusing on self-love, whatever this is, is quite positive for you. You have, I mean, triple aces showing up for you. You have the patience, the fool card, the heart chakra. This is beautiful, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what's above you. What is coming in here for Virgo? You're moving on. Absolutely. You're moving on to bigger and better. Maybe you told yourself you weren't good enough, that your body wasn't good enough, or people wouldn't look like you because of your looks. You're letting all that go, all those beliefs. Some of you could be a person. Some of you, uh, you're physically moving, you're relocating to a new area. This is you moving on and saying, you know what? I'm a lot stronger than I was. I'm coming out on top. I'm finding solutions to the problems here and I will persevere no matter what here. There's a new, new moon cycle, but also a new year ahead, especially with this being in Virgo uh, season here. Uh, September energy for you is going to be very powerful, very potent. Uh, there's a little bit of patience here in the month of August, but September you're really getting that ball rolling. You're getting out of a situation, whether it's mental block or physical or emotional, that's held you back. You're saying, sayonara, there's a new me. All right, let's take a look and clarify. Six of Cups clarified, uh, clarifying the Six of Swords. So you're getting double repetitive numbers on top of the main numbers here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Six of uh, Six of Swords, now the Six of Cups. So do pay attention to the numbers that are showing up double for you. Maybe you just seen a seven and then you've seen another seven. Uh, perhaps you've seen three, three, three on the clock one day and then three, three, three the next day. So pay attention to those synchronicities that are showing up for you when it comes to numbers, especially. But the six of pentacles is small acts of kindness. This is about you being kind to yourself. This is about you looking at your, your younger self, your inner child and saying, I'm going to be kind to you and I'm going to do something that I should have did a long time ago, or I should have done a long time ago here. And I feel like that's fully loving you for who you are, loving yourself inside and out and being kind to yourself. And that's what you're doing is you're moving on from any of those limiting beliefs and you're practicing kindness. Beautiful. Let's see what's showing up Virgo in the near future. What's showing up? We have choices, choices. 
So this is about you, uh, you having quite a few different options. It says seven of cups, which we just see in the six of cups here. So this is about you choosing wisely. Now it could be choosing companionships, choosing partners. It could be uh, choosing anything in your life that you have free will to choose here. But the seven of cups says focus. If you feel overwhelmed, if you feel like there's a lot of options out there, just take a step back and always remember, Virgo, you are stronger than you think, that you will choose the best option for you. Why? How? Because remember that that Six of Cups says you're being kind to yourself. As long as you follow that true north and be truly and authentically yourself and your decisions come from a place of confidence and worth, you will choose correctly here for you. So let's clarify and see what these choices are all about. Maybe you're in a relationship and you're choosing happiness over sadness. Maybe you're choosing to leave instead of stay. Perhaps you are choosing to, to date uh, more than one person or to narrow it down. Uh, some of you are choosing a life that is full of passion and desire versus lack of, maybe lack of passion, lack of desire. I feel like you're putting yourself out there and opening up to this new beginning here. Yeah, because there's a Ten of Swords. There was something that maybe happened in the past that was difficult for you. But the Ten of Swords says that this is coming to an end. Maybe you felt rejected. Maybe you felt stabbed in the back. You felt not good enough for the people before you. And you're saying, you know what? I am worthy. I am good enough. I will overcome any of those self-worth issues, those confidence issues. And I am moving on. That's what you're doing here. And I like it. Tens bring in endings. Endings bring in new beginnings. Beginnings. So you will choose wisely. You will choose to end anything that doesn't serve your higher self, especially in matters of the heart. Now let's take a look here and see what it is that you are telling yourself, Virgo. How are you feeling? What are you telling yourself? What is your energy emitting? What you think about, you bring about. Law of attraction is heightened. This is your birth month. Uh, even though we're doing August, some of you towards the end of August, but the, the energy of September really is heightened for you. So this is about you attracting. You have double sixes here showing up as well. Um, so six could be a number that's important to you, especially if some of you are born around the six, 16th or 26th. Uh, we have throat chakra, speak your world into being is what I'm sensing. Throat chakra and third eye, plus you have the heart chakra. And look at this, remember in the past, chakra healing. It doesn't surprise me that you have all of these chakra cards coming out because you are healing the chakra system. Beautiful. But what are you telling yourself? You're ready for some new opportunities. You're feeling uh, impatient. You're feeling a little bit bored. Remember, you have the patience card showing up and you're saying, I'm ready for this new opportunity. My life has become maybe stagnant, maybe bored, maybe discontent at times. You're ready to fully open up to this new opportunity. But I feel like that opportunity for love, for friendships, for maybe companion animals, for new experiences that open up the heart. I do feel the energy of September here more so than August, but you're preparing, you're getting ready. So do that inner work, continue to heal those chakras. So when September rolls around for you, Virgo, you are ready to uh, grab the bull by the horn, so to speak and be excited about these new opportunities. So uh, you're feeling like you're definitely ready to go chase that castle in the background. All he needs to do is turn around and that's what you're focusing on. New goals, new achievements here. Fours represent planning, structure, foundation, and most importantly here for you, stability. And so I do feel like you're telling yourself, I'm ready for a new opportunity. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Four of Cups energy. Six of Pentacles once again. Okay. So what, oh, excuse me, not once again, sixes, I should say once again here, because you have a bunch of sixes in your reading, but <clears throat> Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. It is about uh, unexpected resources, unexpected people coming in to help you move forward in your life. Now, this could be a random conversation you have with someone at the grocery store. This could be somebody through an exercise class or even a Zoom meeting or something of that nature where you connect. There's like-minded 
energy going on here. There is an unexpected resource that's coming in here. I feel that you're attracting that's going to allow you to open up. That's going to allow you this new opportunity. Now, some of you, this is somebody that can teach you a lot. Somebody who uh, has that guidance. Now, spiritual toolbox. Remember what I said. In the future, you may be seeking a, a consultant, maybe a psychic, a coach, a mentor. Maybe you're doing your own spiritual work here. I feel like this may have to do with the Six of Pentacles. Sixes represent harmony, problem solving, but also loyalty. You staying loyal to your beautiful heart, Virgo. Let's see what's showing up in your environment. What is going on in the energy around Virgo? Emotional withdrawal. And this is what's needed at this time. This isn't a bad energy. Eight of cups. Look at you have the seven of cups you're choosing. Once you make a decision, it's almost like you're stepping back and giving the universe some breathing room to work. I personally like the eight of cups. It reminds me of Eat, Pray, Love. Uh, if you've read that book or watched that movie with Julia Roberts, it's about you leaving behind all of that energy of possibly boredom discontent and you're withdrawing from that normal circumstances or normal life that you've built for yourself. I won't even say normal. I'll say discontent and you're withdrawing from that and you're going in search of something better, more fulfilling, just like in eat, pray, love. She leaves behind, you know, her good career and a relationship, her marriage and all of the things that sometimes we tend to focus on in this human realm. And you're in search of really discovering who you are, discovering what it means to open up your heart, discovering what good food tastes like and the travel and just opening up and feeling all of the flow of all the chakras aligned. That's what you're doing here with this eight of cups. There is an emotional withdrawal happening, but it's not that you're withdrawing from the energy of something that you love. It's you're withdrawing from things that no longer serve you and you're moving towards more freedom. So I, I like this showing up for you here. Completely a uh, different energy than uh, what the card depicts of the emotional withdrawal. Some of you may actually be going to the ocean or you may be doing some uh, some praying as well, some manifestation. Let's take a look and clarify. What is it that you're moving towards? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you are chasing your happily ever after. The Ten of Pentacles is the card of... <coughs> Excuse me. It is the card of happily ever after. It's about leaving a legacy, chasing your dreams, the tree of life, the growth, the financial abundance, the love. The Ten of Pentacles is about stable stability, financial security. It's about abundance and you feeling good all around. That's what you're heading towards. The ocean. This the. I feel like the the sky is the limit here, and I feel like you. Um, I feel like you're making major changes in your life to really grow towards that Ten of Pentacles. So this is really powerful stuff coming in, Virgo. It's your year to shine. Even though this isn't, a, you know, a brand new 2023, I feel like this cycle regarding your next uh, year of your age as well, I feel like you're really heading towards the things that are more fulfilling. Now let's take a look in, at your hopes and fears. What are your hopes? What are your feel, fears? Wow. This is, you can't make this up. Look what you have. Spiritual strength. And you literally have spiritual strength. Even though it says spiritual toolbox, spiritual strength here. So this is huge. So the nine of wands energy showing up for you says that you may be praying for spiritual strength. Okay? Because you have the strength card, but you are stronger than you think. The nine of wands is the energy of the wounded warrior, the final push, the determination to not give up. You're almost there. And your hope is that you stay persistent, that you can find motivation in a difficult time. That may be why you're seeking the spiritual toolbox in the future, because you want to manifest a soulmate, a lover, a companion, or just a kindred circle of like-minded souls. For others of you, you've been through the ringer. You've been through emotional abuse, possibly f uh, physical abuse, possibly way, you know, trauma. There may be trauma that is deep wounded in the cells. There could be cell memory that shows up that may be blocking relationships at times. And that may be why you have chakra healing to really get to the root of the problem here. But the hope is that you can persist and that you can get to that brain 
brand new beginning here and I feel like you will. I really do. Let's take a look and clarify. I feel very positive abundance coming from this. Uh, you have two cards showing up here. Nine of Wands. There's the Page of Wands. Staying curious, staying open. And then your final card for the clarification, the Lovers. I mean, beautiful. <clears throat> You will attract love. You will attract soulmate energy. This is your hope. The lover's card is Gemini energy and it's all about soul contracts. It's about partnerships, balanced decisions where you can fully love, fully trust, fully bridge the gap of harmony and bring in partnerships that are beneficial to your soul's purpose. Stay open. Just a little bit longer here for you. You will attract the energy of love, whatever that looks like to you. Now let's take a look at the final outcome. Remember, I am sensing for you, oh, oh wow, I love this. I was going to say I'm sensing more, more towards September, but for some of you, it's going to be the hit of the end of, uh, excuse me, end of August. There is foundation and achievement, four of wands energy. This is divine. This four of wands is the card of 1111. It's the card of soulmates. It's the card of celebration, weddings, halfway to marriage. This can be about a new home or some sort of party, award, holiday, achievement, birthday as well. So this is about you building a solid foundation and finding that you've actually achieved and accomplished more than you thought. Because there may have been a time in your life that you thought, Thank you, Spirit. Oh, goodness. They just told me that some of you either couldn't get pregnant, you had a hard time getting pregnant, or there could have been maybe some scar tissue in that sacral chakra area uh, where maybe you weren't able to have kids or maybe you chose not to have children. It's not going to resonate with everyone, uh, but I do feel that there may have been some sort of blockage regarding uh, a prolonging of building a family. Now, it could be even that at a certain age, you thought you'd have accumulated or acquired much more more love at your at this point of your life you're hitting a major achievement this year specifically but again in the month of August September where you're gonna feel like you're setting a firm foundation there's a rainbow coming and what when do rainbows happen after the storm after the the cloud so you have more than enough to succeed and bring in the love that you seek law of attraction but there is a little bit more healing that needs to take place. But you can still be in this four of wands energy and still heal. I mean, my goodness, we as humans are always healing. Even myself, uh, even I'm always learning. And even though people say, well, Melissa, you, you know a lot. You're always, uh, you know, you're able to channel the energy. Well, I'm a human. I'm a soul having a human experience. Therefore, I will always be healing. I will always be learning and evolving. So it's very important for you to know that even in achievements, you're still healing and you're still learning and you're still evolving, Virgo. So four of swords, this is you time to take a little bit of a rest, time to uh, get ready, plan, because you're moving on from a situation that was less than ideal and you're bringing about more love more prosperity more abundance so i really like your reading very deep very spiritual uh very internal as well for some of you and i just oh i just want to reach through and give you a big hug virgo because you are so much stronger than you give yourself credit for and you have more power than I feel a lot of you have even tapped into uh, yet. And it's something that you will really start to embody that energy of your own personal power uh, as the years or as this year really unfolds for you, your personal year. Uh, so you turning this next chapter of your life. Now, last but not least here. We're just going to pull a few messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And uh, we have quite a few cards that came out here. So I'm going to read to you the first one, or I should say the one at the bottom, because I feel like this is where you're at. But I will just share with you the other ones. It's card four, which I thought we talked about. Yeah, four. the reason why four is Spirit is saying is because that's uh, your final outcome. So I will read to you the relationship message, which is co-create. But your other messages here are... Uh, orphaned. I feel like you felt orphaned in the past with this body talk. This is about loving yourself, feeling at times like you're that uh, black sheep, like you're on the outside looking in, maybe feeling uh, a lot of anxiety, depression, or just feeling really heartbroken or heavy, feeling orphaned. But then 
boom, you go through this transformation, this regenerative uh, death energy where there's a rebirth here, a new you being born. That's all about you being stronger than you think, you persevering. Look what he's doing. He's at the top of the mountain and his arms are wide open and he's saying, yes, I've made it. I've conquered these challenges. I've climbed to the top. And you can see here that despite the uh, the volcano or despite the ground being uneven, there's rebirth here. There is still a tree with leaves growing in the midst of this volcano. In the places that you think you cannot grow is really, it's almost like, um, you know, the sunflower or the the flowers that grow in cracks or you seeing things grow when it should be completely desolate or uh, where it seems like nothing is worth growing you absolutely are and then your final card here is the co-create card 40 I just heard some of you may be turning 40 or there may have been a, a very big life change around the age of 40 for you as well now what we have here is creativity, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation. And it says here, connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art. Now, the very embodiment of beauty. Very powerful energy coming in here for you. I absolutely love this. So I'm actually going to read to you the protection message. Just because in a lot of these readings, um, I feel like there is a little bit of that heaviness. You did get that regenerative energy here and that orphan energy. So it's like we're all kind of breaking free from the shell that we felt stuck in, felt like we are stagnant or not able to grow or climb from, or felt the motivation to even break that shell and be reborn here. And the protection message is this. You may be trying too hard to create all that you desire without the nurturing vital force of spirit. Perhaps... You are in a creative slump, facing a monumental task, but unable to decide on your first step. So you just avoid doing anything. Does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now? Why do you think it has all come down to you? Inspiration means the drawing in of divine guidance. There it is. You have that uh, nine of, you have the spiritual strength showing up here. You also have spiritual toolbox. And this energy in reverse is all about you connecting with the divine. It says, why do you think it has all come down to you? You must tap into spirit, not simply just yourself. Ask spirit for inspiration. Two minds are greater than one. So co-create with your divine partner. Reclaim your partnership with spirit. Inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way. And remember what I said earlier, Virgo? It's about backing up, giving spirit some breathing room to work its magic here. You are overcoming those obstacles. Not only are you taking a leap forward here, there's action. that You are gaining wisdom along the way. And also, wow, look at, there's that egg. I just said uh, breaking open that egg for that new beginning. So really powerful stuff coming in here for you. Virgo, I love this energy for you. Get ready. This next chapter of your life is going to feel so much more adventurous than the past here. You're going to open your heart up and you're going to be so grateful that you did. So I hope this resonates, Virgo. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I am sending all of you wonderful souls so much love, so much light. Thanks for tuning in.